hello everyone. This is Faith from Firesign Tarot. Some of you may know me as Big Mama Saggy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, it's Thursday night. And we're starting this new thing here. We're going to call this the weekend top and bottom reading. Just going to give you a general idea of what might, blah, 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 what might happen over the next three days. We could through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And either Sunday night or Monday morning, I will record and upload the work week top and bottom reading. Good Monday through Friday. I know a lot of us aren't working right now because of all the chaos and craziness surrounded by this virus that's going around. We're not going to talk a whole hell of a lot about that because that's negative vibes. And negative vibes, as you can tell, really aren't my thing. So just know that you loved and know that you supported, know that you thought about. And we're going to get through this together. Okay? All right. We're going to roll through this based on the elements. The 12 zodiac signs going around the wheel are divided up into the four elements, fire, earth, air, water. It is Aries season, so we're going to start with fire. They will be general. They will not resonate with everybody based on your sun sign. If it does not resonate, that is okay. Stay tuned to the end of the video and check your moon rising or Venus sign reading. Okay. Just remember... That all energies can be fluid and vice versa. Take a sip of some red wine. And throw down some cards. Okay. Leo Sagittarius, top of the deck, six of pentacles, bottom of the deck, ace of wands. The beginnings of a new fiery, passionate, gung-ho relationship. It's finally equal. It's pretty cool. You could be dealing with an earth or a fire sign. Don't necessarily have to be. But if you are and it resonates, okay. Three off the top. Strength reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Some of you may be drained due to a downward turn of events, and some of you may, might not be working right now. That's what this might mean. That's a duh thing. So whoever that resonates with. In regards to relationships, a past relationship may have been draining and some cycles may not have closed out quite yet. And you're not sure if you want to put work into this new relationship. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Nine of Swords. Hmm. 
some of you may not want to take on this new relationship. Some of you may not want to take the cup because you're large and in charge and you got you and you enjoy being in charge of your own life. And some of you may be having sleepless nights overthinking whether or not you want to take the cup. Throw some clarifiers on this real fast. Clarifier on the strength card. Clarifier on the strength reverse, please. Thank you. Six of swords. Some of you may be drained because you're still moving on from something else. Your thoughts are still very much with something or someone else. Or, you know, the person you're dealing with is still moving on from something else. Why is it with a fortune reversed here? One card, one card, first card, one card, one card. Thank you, full reversed. An old cycle hasn't cleared out yet. You're not sure if you trust your judgment. You're not sure if you want to take the leap of faith because you're not sure if you're ready or not. There may be something about the situation that's a little sketch. And you're like, yeah, I don't know. They may not have quite moved on yet. And I don't know if I've quite moved on yet. Why is Eight of Pentacles reversed here? One card on the Eight of Pentacles, please. For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, one card on the Eight of Pentacles reversed. I don't want to. It's going to make me take two. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Cups reversed. Well, I'll be damned. You're not sure if you want to put any effort into this because some of you may be waiting for somebody to return. You don't know if you want to put effort into it. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed here? I will say, and as a Sag, I can say this, it's slightly comforting knowing that a fire sign is not jumping into something headfirst and might not be ready to jump into something headfirst. That's transcendent, boys and girls, and that's a beautiful thing. Because we are notorious for jumping into stuff headfirst and not thinking about it. And we get our hearts broke because of it, and we break hearts because of it. So that is definitely transcendence of a not so great aspect. Justice in the upright. Some of you might not be ready to take the cup because of a legal matter. Some of you could be still going through divorce proceedings or what have you. Or because you're still trying to regain balance yourself. I'm still trying to fill my own cup. How am I supposed to fill somebody else's? Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Three of cups. It tried to spin into the reverse. So I'm going to read it both ways. So you get both messages because some of you... One might need one message, one might need the other message. So we're going to read it both ways. <sighs> Some of you may enjoy having this person in your life, and that's okay. And you just want to be friends because you don't want to take that next step because you got you. You're in charge of you. You're good being you. And you don't want someone else influencing your decisions. It's 
some of you could have some outside influences trying to influence your decisions or decision based on whatever this is, this person, your situation, you know, all about that. Sometimes we make decisions just so noise stops. I've been there too. And that was a one unhappy Sagi, let me tell you. Alright, why is the Nine of Swords here? Devil reversed. Shadow side reversed. It's the Devil card. Going back to we're still moving on from something else or disconnecting from something else. This is keeping you up at night because you may not be ready to disconnect. The person you're dealing with may have some kind of obsessive habits. Potentially. And you're just unsure. Some of you may be asking the question, okay, it's hot, it's passionate, it's workable, it's doable, it's fair and equal, but how long is it going to last? Those snap decisions we make don't always last. Astrological hazard from being a fire sign, I guess. Okay. Temperance and the High Priestess. Speaking of energy flow and using one's intuition. Be patient with the connection and use your intuition. Let that little inner tug guide you. You know what I'm talking about. It's not the voice in your head and it's not how you feel in your heart. It's that intuitive tug. If something isn't right, you'll know. If it is right, you'll know. And if you're wondering about the difference between if it feels good or if it feels right, and the, those are two very different things. Does it feel good or does it feel right? That's the question you have to ask yourself. And you will know. How is it flowing? How's it flowing? Okay, fire signs. That's your read. <coughs> Pardon me, I still got that dry cough going on. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Hmm. You won the battle, or did you? You could be dealing with an air sign person. There's two sword cards. Definitely a, a possibility. Not necessarily though. Could be dealing with some secrets coming out this weekend. Huh. Okay. Top of the deck. Nine of Swords in the upright, Devil in the reverse, Strength in the reverse. Oh, Holy Moses. Okay. Overthinking something. Disconnecting from something powerful. You're drained. You're very drained. 
someone else's addiction issues might be keeping you up at night and draining you too. Maybe that's what they're having the secrets about. Maybe you're having to pick up the pieces because you just found out. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Six of Swords reversed. King of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles in the upright will all be damned. get a little clarity. I see a return. I see an end of conflict and I see a happy ending. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's not a bad deal. Let's get some clarity though. So far it's looking good. So far there's a light at the end of that long dark tunnel. Unfortunately you may be having to walk down somebody else's long dark tunnel and drag them out of the end of it. Can I get some clarity on the Nine of Swords, please? Clarity on the... Thank you. Prince of Swords. Communication, finding something out on social media. You possibly may have saw something you shouldn't have seen or didn't want to see. But I guarantee you it was something you needed to see. Maybe there was clarity after being kept up night after night. Why is the devil card reversed here? One card. Why is the devil card reversed here? Overindulgence led to the breakup of a family. Good possibility. I'm not sure what it was overindulgence in. There may have been a loss of a child involved. For if that resonates with anyone, I you have my deepest sympathies because I've been there. Why is the strength card reversed here? What has my earth sign friends so drained? Thank you, two of pentacles is reversed. Dropping balls everywhere. Can't do the juggling act anymore, you're drained. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? This is where it starts getting happier, by the way. Ace of Cups reversed and the Six of Wands return, return. Return of someone you disconnected from, potentially a fire sign or a water sign.
earth signs, you could have somebody trying to come back this weekend. You may definitely be receiving some communication. Someone you definitely had a lot of conflict with. Secrets. Issues. Why is the King of Wands reversed here? Four of Pentacles upright. One more on that. End of conflict. Prince of Pentacles reversed. Princess of Pentacles reversed. They may attempt to offer an apology, but you're going to reject it because you're still holding on to those, those tough emotions. One more. I know I say one card and I pull four. Don't judge me. You want the answers or not? Just saying. King of Pentacles in the upright. What if I do this? They're coming back solid and stable. Possibly coming back clean. Having their crap together. It's not a terrible thing. Why well, is the Ten of Pentacles here? of swords. They want to put to the end of a painful cycle and bring the family back together. Earth signs, this isn't such a bad deal. By the looks of things, you guys have been through the ringer. You've put each other through some crap. Typically, in instances like this, there usually is not one party that is totally guilty. But then again, even even the concept of guilt is kind of a shaky one because choices are choices. And sometimes other people's choices lead us down the path we're supposed to go on. And every once in a while, you veer off and away and you come back together because the universe steers you back together. It's your choice. Do with it what you will. Top. King of Swords reversed. Bottom. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Avoid emotional decisions that may lead you back into a codependent situation. Cut out the things that no longer serve you. And by the looks of things, that's all the advice those cards have for you. It's really all I can get out of that. You know what you know what your shoe size is. I don't. You know what you can take on. Okay. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Top. 
High Priestess reversed, bottom, the hair fit in the upright. <coughs> huh! Ego-based decisions, potentially being taught a life lesson this weekend. The high priestess in the reverse, she's not listening to her intuition, she's listening to her ego. She's being controlled by something other than her emotions. Yeah, sorry. She's being controlled by something other than her intuition, be it her ego or her emotions. Have another sip of wine, Faith. And the Hierophant, yeah, he marries people, or she, but she's also a teacher of life lessons. In this particular card, it's a she. The teacher and the student. Right. We have a five of pentacles in the reverse, a tower in the upright, and a hermit reverse. Page of Wands reversed, Three of Pentacles in the upright, and an Emperor reversed. What a French toast. Air signs. What we got going on here? Sudden and abrupt change, not allowing a healing to take place, things screeching to a halt, someone being vulnerable. There's a coming together and a laying of foundation underneath the tower that's about to fall. So hold on, air signs. Can I get it? A little clarity on the Five of Pentacles reverse, please. Temperance. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, possibly Sagittarius. I also have Taurus. Taurus and Taurus on the board. Coming in out of the cold. For ghosting. One more. I'm not being given all the information, air signs. That's not like you. Three of cups reversed. It's reversed. Possible disconnect in friends. Possible straight up ghosting. Sudden and abrupt change. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here for air signs? Thank you. The world. Sudden and abrupt change bringing the clothes to a cycle. Why is the hermit reversed here? Page of Cups. I think someone's finally going to see the light this weekend and try to talk to you. 
Someone you thought you disconnected from. Someone you slammed the door on. They could have potentially ghosted you or you ghosted them. Take it however it resonates. The Nine of Swords popped out. I'm going to put it back in. Just keep it in your head that it popped out. And someone might be coming back to offer you their cup this weekend. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands reversed here? Full reversed. Where'd you go? There you are. And the lovers. At first you're going to say, no, I don't trust it. Oh, hell no, I'm not moving forward with this. This is not happening. But this is a connection. This is... Yeah. This is beautiful is what this is. Someone could be coming back from a spiritual journey. After you thought they were gone and it was over. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Ace of Swords. Reversed. One more. throw this out there just from what I've learned in the past year about manifestation when someone or something consumes your thoughts be them good thoughts or bad thoughts the universe can unwittingly kind of throw them in your lap like that X that you just cannot stand and it consumes your thoughts Nine of Swords, they kept you up at night. I think you're not going to pick up the phone. I don't think you're going to open the email. I don't think you're going to open the text message. I think they're going to try to come back together with you, and I think you manifested this in, Air Signs. I don't see you re responding to it. I see them trying. You're just going to put the brakes on me like, Oh, no. Oh, no, you didn't. Mm. Nighty Cups reversed. Nope. I would like to give you my cup. You know where you can go shove that cup? Be nice, air signs. Be nice. Three of Wands reversed came popping out. You stopped waiting for this a long time ago. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Walked away from the dock. Walked away from the dock. Six of Wands reversed. Emperor reversed. There will be no victory here. <sighs> but 
The return of the soldier after the battle will not be so victorious. Because you're going to say no. Mm. Not happening. Not after what you did to me. Not after you left me out in the cold. Not after you ghosted me. Not after you spent my world crashing down around me. Which I'm sure it wasn't that bad, but that's how it felt. Five of Wands reversed. It may well put an end to the conflict because I don't see you really having much of a conversation with this person other than the cordial, hello, how are you? If you even pick up the phone. All right. Water signs. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Forgive me. Forgive me. Four of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. You let this go. <laughs> you let this go a long time ago. You let this go. You walked away. You don't want to give it one last shot. You're done. Okay. But keep in mind, it could be a valuable life lesson here. Be careful what you wish for because the universe just might hand it to you. Okay. Water signs and we're done. This might be a little bit of a long one. Might be the wine. I don't know. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Top of the deck. Sun reversed. Bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords reversed. Water sign, somebody in this scenario is not happy and someone's trying to put something out of their head or they've just gone completely bonkers, one of the two. Two of swords reversed, five of pentacles reversed, queen of swords reversed. Wow, really? 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 There was an impossible decision. Somebody got ghosted. Straight up, no communication, cut out of a life entirely. Not even giving it a second thought. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> oh boy. Eight of Pentacles, Justice and Judgment. Oh boy. You guys are going to have one hell of a weekend. Concentrating a great deal on work. Working on you. Self-love, self-care, putting money in the bank. Justice, some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe you're on the cusp of Libra if you're a Scorpio. I'm sensing something coming back to level the playing field. You may be making a final judgment call on someone this weekend, Water Signs. Alright, can I get a clarifier on the Two of Swords reversed, please? Thank you, Two of Cups. It's always a loving connection.
the not so recent past could have been a few days could have been a few weeks a few months you had to make an impossible decision regarding a connection and I don't think you were too overly thrilled about having to make this choice I think you've been trying to put it out of your head and it's kind of making you a little bonkers why is the five of pentacles reversed here Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may have been left with little to next to nothing. And you finally rose up out of the ashes. And you've really made a way for yourself. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. That's awesome. Why is Queen of Swords reversed here? Ace of Wands, oh boy. Could possibly be a fire sign you're dealing with. Yeah. Leo over here. Someone you've cut off communication from may try to come back for a passionate new start. Or you may meet someone new. After cutting off communication with someone take it however resonates. I'm, I'm feeling like that's an old flame. Throw one more on that. Three of Wands reverse. This is someone you stopped waiting for. Yeah, this is the return of an old flame. It's like, okay, now you come back? Or you could have something new going with someone else and an old flame comes back. Now you come back? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in the upright here? Emperor reversed, Page of Pentacles in the upright. Oh, water signs. This one might knock the wind out of you. Someone may be seeing that you're stacking coin and you're doing well. And come back with an apology. I'm sorry I screwed up. You want to hang out? You want to talk? And this is someone who in the past may have left you very vulnerable. Out in the cold even. And some of those old feelings are going to creep back in. You've tried so long to put it out of your head. Why is justice here? I knew I felt one flip out. Knight of Cups reversed. <sighs> Knight of 
you may say, I'm finally regaining balance. I'm finally starting to figure things out. I don't know if I want what you have to offer. Because you couldn't commit before. And now all of a sudden you're coming back. I knew I had another flipper. Six of Wands reversed. Yeah. After you knocked the wind out of my sails, now you want to come back? I don't see the return being so victorious because I see you making a judgment call. Why judgment here? This is really going to hang some of you water signs up. World reversed. So no matter what judgment call you make, the universe may have other things in mind. I just read the cards. The future is not set in stone. You still have control of your own destiny. Just keep that in mind. It's not up to me. It's between you and the universe. Two of Pentacles upright, full reversed. Things are starting to become balanced. You're keeping all your balls up in the air. Ultimately, if you don't trust it and you're not ready to take the leap of faith, again, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to live, but if you don't trust it, you don't trust it. Trust has to be earned. And when trust is broken, it can take a very long time to get it back. And I don't blame you one bit. All right, guys. This has been your weekend top and bottom. Let me know if it resonates. Leave a comment. Send me an email, like, share, and subscribe if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Know that you guys are loved, be blessed, and I will catch everybody Sunday night for your work week top and bottom. Love you bits, guys. Bye for now.